Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatedme.com and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video in my New Year's update, life update slash chat slash goals chat video that I did. I talked about how for this year I wanted uh, to, one of my goals is to complete projects that I've had in the back burner for so long or that I started but never completed. And I'm happy to share that one of those projects is finally complete. I have given Catalina an amazing little uh, st art studio, art corner uh, area in my home. And I just wanted to share with you because it's actually quite simple, but looks really cool. And I'm just like so happy with it. So, so what it is, is a pegboard that I'm using to store and organize all of her art supplies. Catalina is huge into art, so she's got a lot of supplies. So this is going to hold a lot of it. And it's also helpful if you have little ones because my two-year-old gets into all of it and it's constantly just throwing all that stuff on the ground, constantly having to pick it up. So this is a way to get things off the ground, off her eye level and reach and getting it up on the wall so that she can get to it. Um, so yes, so it is a pegboard and it was really easy for us to do. So I'm going to go through the steps and show you how we did it. So I did some prep work before. I measured up the area, looked to see what was on the website for my local hardware store to see what they had. And they did have a 48 by 48 pegboard, which is perfectly sized for that area. So we went and purchased, or we went to purchase that. Unfortunately, when we got there, they didn't have any of those left, but they did have 24 by 48, so basically halved. So we bought two of those to make the 48 by 48. And then this is like the absolutely necessary step, which people tend to forget. I forgot about it, which is why it's taking me so long to actually finish it, is that you need to have a little piece of wood to put between your wall and the pegboard so that you have space to actually hook in. Otherwise, you're just like digging into your wall and it's not gonna work. It's gonna scratch up your wall. So you need a little spacer. So we got pieces of wood that were two inches wide and one inch thick. And that is what we cut up to create the border for the pegboard to um, nail it into our drywall. So that is what we purchased and cut it into the appropriate sizes so that we could nail it onto our wall. I will have the measurements and exactly what we purchased in the description box below. So definitely check that out or go to the blog so you can see detailed of details of what we actually did and what we cut in sizing and all that. So once we had our pieces and cut the wood to the appropriate size, we brought it all home and started assembling it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to look for your studs because you are going to put some heavy things on there. You want to make sure that it's really nice and secure to your wall and that means nailing the wood onto your studs. So for us it was quite difficult and hopefully it's not going to be as difficult as you but we live in a pre-war apartment so our walls are strange and our apartments are cut strangely so we have a feeling that um, our apartments are not the way that they were laid out originally and they might have cut into other apartments and made walls so it was quite difficult to find our studs and they were spaced out in a strange way they were not evenly spaced out now hopefully you won't have that problem in your home but that is something that we saw and I just needed to share that. So it's the reason why you will see that the pegs that we put uh, nailed to the wall are not spaced out evenly and kind of awkward, but hopefully you won't have to worry about that. So we nailed those in and then we nailed on our pegboard to it. I just have to say this. I know you've probably heard this, but it's true. Measure twice, cut once. Uh, how do I put this? We did not measure appropriately, which is why you will see that our pieces of wood are not equal and that in fact one of them has a little like one inch that is extended. We don't have a handsaw in the apartment so we couldn't chip cut that piece off so it's just there. It just is what it is. A family friend of ours was kind enough to gift us molding to put around it. So we held on to that and we just kind of hung it right over. And obviously if you measure correctly and don't have little pieces extending where they shouldn't, it will fit fine. But we just, you know, 
it is what it is. We just kind of hung it over it and covered it that way. But obviously you can do much more. But having molding to go around is a really nice decorative piece, a nice little detail to add to your pegboard. You can also paint your pegboard. Um, if you go on Pinterest, you will find a lot of inspiration. You can paint the pegboard in just one solid color. You can do little designs like chevron designs. It's really fun. You can also paint the baskets that you will hang off the pegboard, but I just wanted to get it up, get it done, and so that's what I did. But if you wanted to do that, that would also be a really cool look. And I might do that anyway, eventually down the line, but we'll see. So once we had our pegboard up and it was complete, all we had to do was add baskets, and that is what you'll see me do here. rearrange them depending on what you want to hang, how big your pieces are, what you have, etc, etc. I will link to some of the baskets that I purchased down in the description box below so you can take a look at them and see if they are the right fit for you. And then it was time for the big reveal and to surprise Catalina. Right there, right okay. there. Are you ready? One, two, three, open. <gasps> it looks so nice. Do you love it? Yeah. Go see, so go so try. Yeah. Go see, go see. you like it okay so look all your old finger painting stuff is here your old Crayola paint those little bottled ones are up there so Clara can't toss those around anymore and then here's your your like acrylic paint and all your nice painting stuff here oh they're my pastels yeah and your um brushes your pencils um, you got your scissors, your glue. This also has more glue in here and all of your glitters. And then these bins have um, oh, those little like arts and crafts things. Oh, I like how you put plastic on it for the, so even if I spill paint on it, it doesn't get dirty. Yeah, I think Miss Deborah, your art teacher, has it like this. So I was inspired by her. Your computer's here, so you can do your computer work here as well. What are you doing? Color pencils. Well, you just, if you need help, you just come tell me and I'll grab it for you. But this is a way to keep what it up. What if I want one of the yellow and blue Play-Doh? I'll, bring, I'll bring the whole basket down, yellow. grab what you like, and put it back up. That's, that's oh, that's Play-Doh? I didn't realize that was Play-Doh. But anyway, there you go. What do you think? Did Mommy do a good job? Yes. Tana, what do you think? Yeah, you can't. Oh no, you can't get to any of it anymore. That's it. It's the end of the road. No more hiding paints on the sofa. No more chucking crayons. <laughs> all in all, I am super happy with the project, the way that it came out. I love that I finally have things up on the wall and not on the ground so that Clara can get into it, but it's just a lot more organized. It's a great way to utilize your wall space. I have high ceilings, um, but even if I didn't, it's just a great way to get things up off the ground, organized and neatly put away. And like I said to Catalina, some of the stuff she can't reach, but she can always ask me and I will pull the basket down. She can grab whatever she wants and then put it back up once she's finished with her projects. And yeah, I really, really love it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you are gonna try this or if you have tried this, let me know in the comment section below. As always, use that comment section to uh, ask any questions, make any requests, or just say hi. You guys know that I love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give this a thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you set your notifications for all and will be notified as soon as my videos go out. I make new videos every single week and I cover everything from fashion to beauty to travel and everything in between. 
Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.